The Public Accounts Committee this week revealed that the government's fraud increased fourfold, mm. with ministers overseeing the loss of £21 billion of taxpayers' money in the last two years. Can he tell us how much of our money they expect to recover? Yeah. The, the Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, we are working tirelessly to recover those funds and, have made, and we have made huge progress already. But again, if the party opposite wants to talk about wants to talk about good use of taxpayers' money, what do we have from the party opposite? Plans for an unfunded twenty eight billion pound spending spree. And what would that do? Drive up borrowing, push up interest rates, adding a thousand pounds to everyone's mortgage. Mr Speaker, I know they are out of touch, but even she must realise that Britain cannot afford Labour. Angela Rayner. Mr Speaker, Britain can't afford any more of the Conservatives. And he seems to have lost count. The answer is a quarter. Only a quarter of the billions of pounds of taxpayers' money lost to fraud is expected to be clawed back. If this government can't get the public money back, they can't be trusted with anything else. Yeah. It's become a pattern of behaviour from the Conservatives. An inquiry missing the evidence, schools missing their pupils, taxpayers missing their money and ministers missing in action. Yeah. And all the while, working people pay the price for their mistakes. This week, the Public Accounts Committee also warned that this epic fraud and waste could happen all over again due to the ministers living in denial of the facts. If his government can't admit the truth, then how on earth can they learn the lessons? Yeah. Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, I would say to the right and lady, we are actually putting more resources in throughout this year to tackle fraud and error, and we continue to make real progress with it. But Again, it's, it's quite extraordinary from the, from, the, from the party opposite. While we are working to drive down inflation and energy bills, what, what's the Right Honourable Lady doing? Receiving £10,000 from Just Stop Oil backers. Oh, yes! Adopting their policies, backing protesters, blocking new production, and forcing us to import more foreign oil and gas. Do you know what? For once, Mr Speaker, I find myself in agreement with the GMB union. What did they say? It's naive, lacks intellectual rigour and could decimate communities, just like Labour. Yeah.